What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with Galarian Articuno on the ranked double ladder. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. This team right here was created and used in a tournament by Jamie Boyd. Huge shout out to him. If you guys want to check out this team more in depth or want to grab you guys to Pokepace, make sure you head down to his channel. Link is in the description below. But like I said, we're using Galarian Articuno, who is such a cool Pokemon. Absolutely love his design and love its typing with the Psychic and Flying. But it's one of those Pokemon you don't really get to see too much, especially in Regulation E, considering the meta is so dense and there's only a few Pokemon that are really used in the meta at the moment. But Hisuian Arcanine is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview. This Pokemon has been phenomenal in Regulation E. It's got Intimidate, alongside with the Choice Ban as item, Rock and Flutter Blitz, Rock Slide, Extreme Speed, with Terra Blast, with the Fairy Terra type. Second slot is going to be the star of the team. It is Galarian Articuno, with Competitive as its ability and the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got Freezing Glare for a Stab Psychic Signature move, alongside with Terra Blast with the Ground Terra type. Calm Mind for those stat boosts and Recover for those HP recoveries. In our third slot, we got Life Orb Golden Go. This Pokemon hits like an absolute truck. You guys seen it plenty of times before. This one has Good as Gold and then move set consists of Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, and Protect. In our fourth slot, we got Iron Hands over here. And this Iron Hands kind of annoys me a little bit considering it's not rocking heavy slam to take out Flutter Mains, but still, this Iron Hands is looking pretty powerful. It's got Cork Drive with the Assault Vest, Close Combat, Wild Charge, Ice Punch with the Ice Terror type, and we have Fake Out for first time flinches. In our fifth slot, we got Roaring Moon, and Roaring Moon has been so good as recently, especially with the booster energy to go with its Protosynthesis ability. The moveset consists of Knock Off, Take Off Items, and for Stab Damage, we got Breaking Swipe, and then we got Tailwind and Protect for its final two moves. In our final slot, we got Urshifu with the Splash Plate and the Unseen Fist ability. This one has Surgeon Strikes, Detect, Substitute, and Ice Spinner. So definitely a weirder move than our Urshifu, but it seems like this one's going to work out very, very well with this squad. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to the ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Galarian Articuno team. First match coming at you guys for today's video, and we're going up against a Trick Room team. They got Ursa Luna, they got Dust Cops, they're also rocking out with Torkoal, Enamorous, Rillaboom, and Hatterene. So they have two Pokemon that can pop Trick Room, one being Dust Cops, the other one being Hatterene. Honestly, Articuno is not too bad here. I like Articuno just because I can pop Combine, and they have a lot of special attackers, so that could be really, really good for us. Ursa Luna, I'm a little, I'm a little worried about. Just such a good Pokemon all around. Hits really, really hard. And yeah, it works really well in the trick room. But Iron Hand's going to be one of those Pokemon that I want to bring here. I definitely want to bring here. But you know what? I'm going to go Iron Hand's turn one. Is that my plan? I could go Gold Go turn one. I could go Gold Go. I can always Nasty Pot if I want to. And I could also go in with Articuno. And maybe if they want to just set up Trick Room. If they want to just go in like Trick Room users. We could just, you know, Nasty Plot boost, all that good stuff, and just start getting after it that way. So, you know what? We're going to go in with both of them. So, I'll go in with Articuno and Golden Go. Try to get the boost set up. I will bring Iron Hands in the back end. And last but not least, do I go in with Arcanine? I think Arcanine could be good, especially for E-Speeds, maybe late in the game. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So, Galarian, Articuno, Golden Go. Double Pokemon that start with letter G. We're ready to roll. We're ready to roll. But yeah, I'm super excited for the uh, new TLC to come out. We're going to get a bunch of new Pokemon. So if you guys are making teams, make sure you guys make rental teams. Send them to me in the comment section down below. Or better yet, DM me over on Twitter with the squads. I would love to get my hands on them. But he ends up going into Hatterene and Rillaboom. So Hatterene and Rillaboom. Eh. I mean, he's going to fake me out. We already know what's happening. I could Nasty Plot. I could Shadow Ball. I could make it rain. I'm going to end up Nasty Plot. I'm gonna get these boosts set up here, and if you're gonna allow me to set up a Calm Mind, I'll do that as well. But I, I think you just fake out my Galarian Articuno, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty simple. So he's gonna fake out, he's gonna take some Rocky Helmet damage, which is nice, and I'm gonna Nasty Plot up. So he will now pop the Trick Room. And go from there. 
The trick room's out and about. Um, he could U-turn pivot here. It is an option, especially with the roll boom. <clears throat> but I'm going into a make it rain. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind I'm going into a make it rain. Do I want to terrestrialize here? No, I think I'm fine. I'm going to double down into this Hatterene slot. Because this thing could be sashed. Could most definitely be sashed. Because if he didn't terrestrialize, I think you're going to be sashed, right? He didn't trash that shit out of the So that's some gleam's gonna fly here. I'm gonna go for a wood hammer. Can you soak this? Do it. Beautiful. I was gonna say, you should be able to soak a wood hammer. But he will take some recoil damage. Freezing Glare gonna come out here. I do believe Hatterene to be focused Ash here. Because if it wasn't sashed, he was just allowing me to pop a Make It Rain my next turn. The Make It Rain comes out here, picks up the double KO. So now this is where everything gets a little tough, right? Because they have a lot of turns left in Trick Room. And we have to waste them out. We have to waste them out. Because they're going to throw out, like, Ursa Luna here. And they're also going to throw out somebody else. Maybe Torkoal. And Torkoal's a threat, man. I don't know what to do up against Torkoal, to be honest with you guys. If Torkoal comes out here, oh my lord. Then we're, we're, we're sitting here with a problem. So there's Ursa Luna. Call that one. Please don't be Torkoal. Please don't be Torkoal. Anything but Torkoal. Alright, it's not Torkoal. We like that. We like that. So it's not Torkoal. Um, I could protect, I could intimidate, um, I think we just try to get off some shots here, to be honest. I think we definitely protect you, and then we just try to get off some shots, maybe with you, Freezing Glare, into Enamorous, who could be Sashed, definitely could be Sashed, um, could go after Ursula, who seems to be a bit of a bigger threat, but with, I mean, Arcanine in the back end is not bad. I think we just try to target down Ursula in here. Yeah, so we'll save our terror type. We'll just protect. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say we'll, we'll just protect the golden go. And Enamorous is gonna get off shots. But Enamorous little hands or feet, whatever they are, in front of them look hilarious. They're like little platypus paddles, right? <laughs> they look like little platypus hands, right? Little paddles, web feet, duck. They look like duck feet. They look like duck feet. So we get to cancel out of turn here though, which is massive. So we get off a free turn, which is, again, huge. It's huge for us just to waste out turns of this Trick Room. And how many turns are left in Trick Room? Two. So that works out pretty good, considering you have Fake Out. You don't, but still, you have Fake Out. That, that works fine. <laughs> that works fine. Um, if I can pop another Make It Rain, I'm going to try to. And I'm going to Freezing Glare into the Ursa Moon slot. So Mystical Fire comes out here. Bye-bye, Golden Go. Nice knowing you. And Facade gonna pop out here. Finish off my Articuna. Makes the most sense, right? It makes the most sense. But again, we're wasting out these Trick Room turns really well. So Ursula is gonna take some Rocky Helmet damage. We get also value with Golden Go and Articuna, which I love. I do love it. I do love it. So now with one turn left in Trick Room, we bring out Iron Hands, bring out Arcanine. Which is good for us. I do have Assault Vest. Big time. And I think the biggest threat is... Ursa Luna, right? So I gotta fake out Ursa Luna. But the real problem is... Will my Iron Hands outspeed the Ursa Luna outside of Trick Room? That's where things get a little... Get a little crazy, right? So let me see your speed. Let me see your, can, you, can you please have like mediocre speed for Iron Hands? Oh, you do. I love you. I love you. So we're definitely will we'll outspeed him outside the trick room. But I think from here, fake out stuff, I'm gonna be your play. I think I just rock slide. Yeah, because if you stay that typing, Ursulino, we'll be fine with just KOing you with, uh, with drain punches and stuff like that. So I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. We still have Terra, which is beautiful. You still have Terra. So I, I think I'm gonna have to send it on Arcanine. Go in the fairy typing next turn. The reason I say Arcanine is because if I use it on Iron Hands, he's still going to be weak to ground moves. And EQ's just looking scary. So we'll see a Terra type. Please don't be Ghost Ursa Luna. Oh my lord. Okay, cool. It's not. going to end up terrestrializing you in a straight fairy. So he's looking to get off as much damage onto Iron Hands as he can. To be honest, I have Assault Vest. I should be able to soak up whenever you have to offer him. I really should. I should be able to soak this up because I soak up Fluttermane shots. And you're not Fluttermane. What? I die out to that? <laughs> That's brutal. That just lost me the game there. 
not expecting you to KO me there. I really just was not expecting you to KO me there. Really was not. Absolutely wasn't. Um, is there any way I can win this? That's so brutal, man. That's brutal. Really? I died to that? I died to that. A moon blast. Let me let me see your stats real quick. A moon blast taking me out with that. I mean, I mean, I'm investing my special defense a little bit too. That's crazy. Just doing so much damage. Namers hits hard, man. But now it's time to terrestrialize. Can't take too much damage to just ground moves. This looks terrifying, man. This is looking terrifying. Wow, I just really wasn't expecting to die out of that. That's why I faked out the Ursa Luna. I was like, okay, we're fine. We should be able to soak up whatever shot he has to offer. That, I was really seeing a Springtide Storm more so than anything. The Rock Slide comes out here. I miss the Enamors, which kind of sucks. Do I get a flinch? No, I don't. I had Long Rush come out here and just get a crit. Just take me out. So regardless of the terror, we're losing this matchup. Pretty rough there. Enamors coming in clutch. But hey, we're 0-1. Let's go hop through a second match and look for a first victory. Looking for our first win in match number two here. Match number one was rather close. Enamorous came in clutch, hit my iron hands like an absolute truck, and uh, dump it on it in one shot. But uh, we're going up against Hisuian Zoruk, so we got to watch out for Illusion. It's always scary. They could have Explosion on the Regilecki, so that's something we definitely want to watch out for, right? We definitely want to watch out for. So I think Golden Go is honestly a solid lead just due to its ghost typing. It could work rather well, so I'm going to do that. And on top of that... I would like to go into somebody who has protect, right? Maybe Urshifu, right? Or I could just go withdraw. Do you have protect here? I think you do, right? Yeah, I could honestly just go both of these guys and just double protect it, maybe. That wouldn't be bad. I kind of like that because a lot of times you're going to go Regilecki and just explode. So I could double protect and just wake out or waste out Regilecki. So yeah, I'm going to go those two. I'm going to bring Arcanine in the back end. And last but not least, let's go Iron Hands here and look for a win here in match number two. I'm really hoping they go Regilecki and Hisuian Zoroak in like Illusion form. I'll double protect. They'll explode. They'll just waste out the Regilecki and we'll know exactly what their Illusion Pokemon is at the same time. So could be good. Could be good. Could be good. I think we know what we got. I think we know what we got on our hands here. I think we know what we got on our hands here. I understand Urshu can hit through protects, which is rather annoying, but I think he protects, right? I think we're all just going to protect here. I think we're all protecting this thing's exploding. I think he's going to detect, I'm going to detect, I'm going to protect, and his reg like he's just going crazy, right? We're really hoping here. We're really hoping here. He's helping in. You gotta be exploding here. Explode Focus Ash? I'm not playing around. <laughs> I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. That's gotta be Zoroak too. Oh, it is Zoroak. That's why he's not protecting. It's Ghost Sniper. Yeah, you thought I was stupid. You thought I was stupid. You thought you thought Jesus here just playing stupid. Come on now. Come on now. Seeing that from a mile away. Bye bye, Regilecki. Bye bye, Regilecki. And now we know who Zoroak is, which is beautiful. It's lovely. And we know who they have in the back end. We know they have Urshu in the back end. We love this. It's lovely. It is lovely. Bye bye, Regilecki. So now they throw out their next Pokemon. And now they got two Urshfus on the field. Two Urshfus on the field. Always a little bit of a problem. But now is actually. Do I want to Thrasilize? Yes. Just in case close combat wants to come in for me. I'm going to Thrasilize. And. I'm gonna Surgeon Strike you because I know you're not. I know you're not Urshadu. Battle was canceled. There it is. Easy like that. We read that explosion, we get our opponent to cancel, and now we're one and one. Final match on its way, and what a second match. Your boy clutched up, made the easy read. That read was so simple. Throw, protect, and just have our opponent cancel. <laughs> it was just too easy. But they're in a the final match, and we're going up against a very cool team. They got Luxray, who Everyone loves. You gotta love Luxray. Such a cool Pokemon. Alongside with Dragapult, another Pokemon who a lot of people love. They got Corviknight, Pelipper, and Dreadnought on the Rain Squad side of things, and Conkledor 
as a back-end Pokemon. So one thing this team doesn't have is weather control, but we do have Tailwind, which could really work wonders for us. So I'm gonna go Roar Moon here for lead. And I think I'm just gonna be able to fake out with Iron Hands, which could be pretty good for us. So yeah, I'm gonna go Iron Hands. I'm gonna go Roar Moon here. I'm gonna bring the Galarian Articuno as back-end Pokemon. I just like it a lot. And last but not least, Arcanine could be good or even Urshifu. And at this point, I'm gonna go Urshifu because if they set rain, Man, Surgeon Strike's just gonna KO everything in one shot. No problem. <laughs> it just hits so hard, especially with Splash Blade. But yeah, that last match, it was just too funny. I seen the Reg Lek and I seen Zorak. I was, like, I was just like, that just screams explosion. So they went into it. They used Help and Hail. I was like, I think we got this. Protect, detect. My side was clear and their Reg Lekki just killed itself. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. It was awesome. But they end up leading these two Pokemon. Um. Okay. Um. I can't pick out the Dragon Pool. I'm probably gonna have to terrestrialize the Roaring Moon. I could just attack. It will outspeed that Dragon Pool. I could just attack. Cause you, like, you got the booster energy and speed, right? Let me just make sure. Yeah, we're boosting into speed here. And to be honest with you, I would love to just get this attack drop. So I'm just gonna break and swipe here. And I'm just gonna fake out the combo. Alcador could be Guts, too. Maybe I should just Ice Punch the Dragon Bolt, but let's just fake out here. Let's just drop a little fake out action. Let's just drop a little fake out action. So, I'm going to Terrasalize a little bit of Roaring Moon action into that Poison type, just so we don't take any crazy damage from that Dragon Bolt. We all know Dragon Bolt's terrifying. We all know that's a scary thing. So, we end up doing that. He ends up just attacking. I knew I should have Ice Punched. I knew I should just Ice Punch the Dragon Bolt and double down. Fake out's gonna get blocked. And you're probably clear body anyway, Dragon Pulse, so the attack drop don't matter, but still. Break and swipe, gonna do a nice chunk of damage in him. Nice and lovely. And we outspeed, which is a big factor in this. A huge factor in this. And of course you will this. But now I get will this, but I get burned. I get burned. And now that we set up a tailwind instead. I could set up a tail. Conqueror could be guts here too. It is. It is guts. Um, okay. He's gonna get that guts boost. Uh I'm gonna actually just tail in for the rest of the squad. I'm just gonna ice punch the dragon. It's a withdrawal Conqueror. So Conqueror gets the withdrawal here. That's fine. You're gonna go into Luxray. Luxray comes out here. Are you Intimidate Luxray? You are Intimidate Luxray. He intimidates me. And he protects the Pope. Okay, I feel you. I understand. Now I get off the Tailwind. Um, I think I just want to get some attack drops in here now, right? You could be, you could be Flame Orb. Or you could be a Toxic Orb or something like that, too. Luxray, you have Guts. No, he's Intimidate. We already seen that. So from here, I could start taking off items. Um, I could Hard Swap. Maybe Iron Hands out here. I mean, Roaring Moon's pretty much in the dumps right now. I think we just start breaking and swiping. I think we break and swipe something Hard Swap into Articuno here. I think Articuno can get some value out of his Tailwind, so... I doubt an electric boost coming after Luxray. He ends up withdrawing here. So he withdraws. He's going to go back into Conqueror or into his final Pokemon. Into the final Pokemon. So Corviknight comes out here. I'm going to bring out Galarian Articuno. Which is rather nice. I mean, it's not bad. But the problem is Luxray is sitting in the field. Baby not eyes. And I got competitive. Oh, we like that. Drop my attack. Boost my special attack. Let's go. We're plus two on special attack. It's massive. That's massive. Breaking swipe's gonna come across here. You do have mirror armor, don't you? Oh my lord, yo. This thing is just getting ripped. I might as well start taking off items, to be honest. Um, someone has Rocky Helmet. One of you guys have Rocky Helmet. One of you guys have Rocky Helmet. Uh, I'm gonna take off your item. And I'm just gonna freeze and glare right here. The knockoff coming across here. Taken off. Are you Rocky Helmet? Yeah, you are Rocky Helmet. It's crazy how I take Rocky Helmet damage and then knock it off. Reason Glare gonna come out here. Can we KO this thing? Because if not, he's probably gonna KO me. 
plus two, and we don't KO. Freeze? No freeze. Thunder Wave. Oh, this thing's just pestering. This thing's just being a little pest. He's just being a little pest. Of course I'm paralyzed here. Here comes the bulk ups. Here, here's where things get a tad bit scary, right? Here's where things get a little scary. The Roaring Moon. What are you really doing here for us? I mean, I could just save you. Probably just go into Iron Hands here. How many turns are left in tail? One. One turn left in tail when I am paralyzed. And I would love to just go after a luxury slot. Maybe I should have recovered. Well, that's a solid matchup. They're playing really well with these Pokemon. They're playing really well. But I get out the Iron Hands here, which is nice. It's nice to get out the Iron Hands here. Freezing Glare is still outspeed, which is huge. We're going to be able to get rid of the Lux right here. He's probably going to bulk up again, to be honest with you. And we get rid of Lux right. So Articuno's here paralyzed. Kind of annoying. He's going to bulk up with the bird. So the bird's looking... Hmm. We don't, we, don't like, we don't like the bird. <laughs> we don't like the bird. The bird's looking scary because with bulk up and all my physical attackers in the back end, it's just not looking good. He's going to end up going back into Dragapult here. And I think from here we just... You could protect the bird. I could fake it out. I'm thinking of just Ice Punching you and Calm Mind Boost. Because the bird's got to be protecting here, especially with Fake Out. No, he's just throwing will o -Wisp towards me. God dang it, man. The amount of will o -Wisp are just going nuts. You're going to Brave Bird me now? Ice Punch is still coming out here. And it's not, it's leaving you on one HP? It's absurd. This is absurd. This is absurd. <laughs> this is absurd. This is absurd. Leaving you on one HP. Get on out of my face with that. So I'm plus three on special attack. I'm plus one on special defense. Um. Corviknight's looking terrifying, man. I still just want to go Ice Punch this slot. I'm just going to go Freezing Glare if I can. I mean, how much damage am I really going to do onto this thing? We'll see. He ends up hexing me. That's going to do a huge chunk of damage. An ice punch is gonna KO you. It's brutal. It's brutal. I should have just freeze and glare him last turn, but I'm not really doing any that much damage here. This thing is just bulking up. Oh my lord, we need a crit from the iron hands. We need iron hands to drop a wild charge to just KO, but still he's burned. He's not, he's not doing much. He's not doing much here. I can't get crits here. I mean I do have Earth Switch. He's actually massive. I'm gonna go Urshu here. Or maybe should I just go Roaring Moon? Yeah, I'm gonna go Roaring Moon here. I'm just gonna try to try to dial things down here. And get after these guys. That's my plan. That's my plan. To save Urshu for last chance and just try to go for some crits. I could go Wild Charge. I think best bet would just be doubling down into maybe Conquador here. And just getting off as much damage as I possibly can. I already outspeed both of them, so... What's it really matter? I'm gonna go for the Break and Swipe. I know I'm gonna get Mirror Armor here, but still, I'd rather put minus one on Conkodor. I'll put minus one on me to put minus one on him, because... This thing is just out the picture at this point. This War and Moon. We're outspeeding. These Pokemon are rather slow. And I mean, damage isn't too bad. I'll drop my defense here. My stats are just lowered. They're <laughs> so low right now. And this thing's gonna roost. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, it's ugly. We don't like that. Knockoff gonna come out here. We get off another turn. Let's just double down to Conquador again. Options, options, options. Could look for a crit into, <laughs> into, uh, into the Corvo. Wouldn't be bad. I'm just gonna attack him. I'm just gonna keep attacking. He could protect Conquador. He does not. So we get that thing down to minus two. We get him down to minus two. I get it. You're mirror armor. I understand. I understand. Well, I'll try to fly here. 
Not bad damage. We don't mind that damage. We don't mind that damage. And it's good to know that we outspeed both of them. The body press can come out here. That's going to finish me off. Conclador is not going to be able to KO Iron Hands. Pretty massive. Pretty massive. But the real question here is, do I just attack the Corviknight next turn? It's actually doing a lot of damage. Why is it doing your minus two and you're still cranking me like that? That's rough. That's rough. So Iron Hands is going to be fastest on the field. Or not fast, second fastest on the field. I feel as from here, could double down the Conclador, but I really want to drop a... I really just would love to drop a what's it called here. A substitute. I'm gonna go certain strikes. I'm just gonna start attacking the Corvo. And of course they're gonna Thrasilize now. And what perfect terror type do you have? What terror type do you have on this Corvo? Fighting. Okay, so he's just looking to do some bigger damage onto me. It pops into the fighting terror. I don't think we're KO in this thing with one certain strikes. We would need like terror or rain out here. Yeah, see this thing is just bulky. He's just bulky. This is his defense without the defense boost, because we're critting here. Hitting through. We're still doing about half. Just solid. And body press is just gonna rip into me. Close well, combat coming in hot here. How much damage is this doing? Put him on one. Come on, man. The amount of Pokemon I put on one HP today. Rough. Brutal. It's brutal. Body press is now gonna fly. We're gonna say bye bye to Urshfu. Corviknight just being a menace today. Oh, wait a minute. No shot. No shot. If that Conqueror would have died out to that close combat, we would have won the match. We would have won the match. Bro, 1 HP Bandit. A 1 HP Bandit really loses this match. Hey, let's think about it. Look how much damage my Urshfu just did there. About half. We would have had Iron Hands and Urshfu both outspeeding this bird. I would have just hit it a little bit with the Iron Hands. I would have used certain strikes again, and we would have won the match. But that's not the case. We lose to a 1 HP comp. So brutal. It's so brutal. But hey, 1 and 2 for today's video. Not too bad. I thought we played pretty well. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a 1-2 losing record, but still, I feel like we played pretty well. First match, we lost. It was just tough, considering that Enamorous KO'd us in one shot. Second match, we made some perfect reads, made our opponent cancel in one turn. And in third and final match, come on, man. One HP on the Conglador doing me dirty. It's brutal. It's brutal out here sometimes. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.